Have you ever wondered how color change markers work? All right, we're gonna figure out the science behind this. So what we've got here is some colors on a paper from the markers. And we're gonna see the original line from the color change mark, the magic wand. So as you can see, it's changing the colors. Now right, we're gonna put another one over here where we're gonna test uh, to see what's inside here. So there's our original mark. And what we're gonna do is to find out what's inside that marker, we're gonna test uh, vinegar. I'm gonna do that first. Okay, so vinegar is an acid. And uh, it changed it a little bit, not too much though. So now we're gonna try something a little bit stronger. We have hydrochloric acid. It's a little bit of stronger acid. All right. Let's see. Does it change the colors? A little bit, but not quite. Not like the original. All right. Let's switch over. We're gonna go ahead and try a base. We're gonna test some base baking soda first. All right. Let's see what we got. That looks a little better, doesn't it? All right, so we probably have a base inside this color change marker. Uh, let's try a stronger base, sodium hydroxide. Now that looks pretty good. So we looks like we've got some strong base inside. Here we can't figure out exactly which one, but it's a strong base. And we have two other things we're gonna test, oxidizers. So we have some hydrogen peroxide. We're also going to test some bleach. I'd say the bleach looks pretty good, right? So we know we've got bleach and a strong base inside of our marker. Um, so we actually have a combination of the two up here. I'm going to see how good that looks. Okay. We'll go right above the original marker. What do you think? Yep. Okay. So that's what's inside of our color change marker. We have a strong base and bleach. Now we gotta find out what's inside the markers themselves. So what we're gonna do is I got some filter paper over here. We've got the colors already on there. And if I could have a volunteer, you wanna try this out? All right, so take that and just drop like five drops in the middle there. Okay. Right in the middle. All right, perfect, thank you. Now if you can see, what's happening is the water is spreading out. It's going like this. And as that happens, the different colors in each of these colors are coming out. So you can see what they're made of. So we have the yellow coming out of the orange here. You can see that pretty good. I think there's some blue coming out of the purple. So we have one of these, it takes a little time. So we have one already made here. You can see all the different colors that come out. This was originally purple, it's now pink and blue, a little bit of blue, and so on with the other colors. Now we're going to take our color change marker, which we know is a strong base, right, and, and an oxidizer. Now what you'll notice and I think the best example is over here, the yellow to red. When you put that on, it erases the yellow and it leaves the red. So the, all the colors in here, the only one that's gonna stay is the one that you know doesn't react with the pen. Or does work. Okay, so what you got here, it's turning to pink. Can you see pink inside that marker line? That's because it stayed, the rest faded away. So that's how color change work, markers work, if you were wondering. And thank you for watching.